What is up, everyone? I'm coming on here for a couple of plays for the day, and we go ahead and have another great day on the VIP, which is amazing to see here. We go ahead and we cash this 9.5x for this Tampa Bay and Kansas City game. Um, I had a couple of plays out, but the one that ends up hitting is the VIP pick that I give out. Um, Kate on over receiving targets. You can see he crushed this with 11, and then Kareem Hunt um, under 2.5 receiving targets. He actually only got one receiving target, and that was in overtime. So he really did not get the ball passed to him at all here. Um, we had two other entries in last night's game. We had this Baker Mayfield one that he needed to get like 30 more yards, was not able to do that, which sucks because he played honestly a pretty decent game. The Bucks just did not have many, uh, they just didn't have many plays to be honest with you guys. And um, there was also that Baker over pass completions and then Rashad White over receiving yards. Rashad White needed about 10 more receiving yards to go over um, and Baker did hit his over on the pass completions, but Rashad White didn't get it. Sucks because if the Buccaneers would have had more plays or maybe they got a um, drive in overtime, these these things could have hit, right? I'm, I'm confident Baker could have got 30 more yards in overtime, um, but he didn't get a chance in overtime, which sucks. Um, I, I honestly, I hate that rule where you're not able to get um, you're not able to get the ball back in overtime because Baker was really having a great game. The Chiefs were just running the ball out and they got lucky with the coin toss, but not going to complain. We obviously cashed this on the VIP, and um, yeah, it does happen sometimes where the VIP is the one that cashes, and honestly, it's going to happen more than more than not because the the VIP I give out like ten plays a day, um, and on the YouTube plays I only give out one a day, right? So the VIP cashes way more. Um, if you guys don't believe me, you can look at Saturday. Saturday. This is what we did on Saturday. We actually had all time highs on the VIP. We cashed four four mans in a row on on the VIP on Saturday. This one was a free play, completely free that I gave out on Friday. But all of these other ones were, were VIP plays. Okay, so if you're not in the VIP, definitely get in the VIP. That's going to be the best way to make money. And uh, if you're really serious about betting and making money in the long term, you need to get on the VIP. Um, I was thinking about this today. Is I, I give out one free pick a day, pretty much one four man on this YouTube play. And I give out really like 10 plays a day on my VIP. So you're going to make money 10 times as fast if you join my VIP, because you're just getting way more entries, right? They're all profitable entries. I'll show you guys my performance. I'm a very profitable better. I'm very confident in that. I might be one of the most profitable people on YouTube. If you can find me, YouTube, the internet in general, if you can find me anyone more profitable, I would love to see it because I would I would gladly tail them. Like I would gladly tail them and get into their uh, picks, you know, Discord or whatever they have because um, they would make me money long term. So this is what we did on Saturday. I, I still can't get over it. I'm probably going to talk about this all week because yeah, we literally went up 40 to 45 units alone on Saturday and that's going to pay for all of our entries for the rest of the week pretty much. And uh, yeah, this is what we did yesterday. So we hit this. We also hit some two mans. Um, we hit... Uh, uh, close to this. And then I did also want to say we are set up for tomorrow or set up for today. Actually, this game's happening today at 2 PM. Um, this game, I, I wanted to also mention, I took these players to go under on this slip and then over on this slip right here. You can see this entry lost. These guys actually went way under. And then these guys also went under. I didn't know what to make of this game between Navi Jr. And Amcol. It was a close, er, it was a even match, but Navi Jr. Has been absolutely crushing it recently. So I thought Navi Jr. Was going to come out ahead and they did. They had a really um, quick game because Navi Jr. was able to, to win this game. And um, you can see all of these guys, even though they're different players, they're all playing Amcall and Navi Jr. All of these guys went under, right? Which means it was a very quick game. So like I said in Counter-Strike, we're hoping for either quick games or long games, okay? So... Um, for example, this where I took the lesses here, this was also a very quick game because these guys soared under their unders. Um, so a quick game means less kills, a longer game means more kills. And I'll get into that too. Um, also on better, it's actually kind of funny because the last six entries on better, we went red, 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 three in a row. And then we go green, 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 three in a row. So green, green, green on better, the one with Trey Young and Kelsey. Um, some of you guys didn't have the Kelsey discount, which was weird, but hopefully you guys found another discount because there's always discounts on better. Um, but yeah, Trey Young, I think he got like eight PRA or something, maybe like 12 or something. I don't know. He got, he went way under his PRA. I don't know what happened. Maybe he got injured or something, but yeah, we we've been killing better as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you guys don't know, I'm a very profitable sports better. This is, we are actually at all time highs. So you can see the all time high of this graph is at 358. And right now we are at 358 units as well. Um, and what a unit is, it is how much you bet on every single entry. So if you are a $5 better, you would bet $5 on every single bet. You'd be up more than you'd be up close to $1,800 on my VIP in the past 150 days, a $20 better. would be up more than $7,000. Think about that. I know some of you guys are $20 betters. You'd be up $7,000 
dollars or more if you if you took all my plays in the past pretty much like five or six months and then a hundred dollar better you'd be up 30 almost 36k in the past 150 days that is insane you could buy like a nice car with this money right here betting um and really my goal on the vip is to get you guys from five dollar betters to ten dollar betters to twenty dollar betters and go from making like literally if if you bet the lowest amount that you can even bet on prize picks you'd be way in the green you'd be up eighteen hundred dollars in that time frame um but obviously some of you guys put ten dollars twenty dollars on the bets as well and you can do this completely for free today so you can get into my vip completely free for two months the best way to do that is to get um is to utilize this promo right here. All you have to do is text me the word bet. The instructions are up here. Text me the word bet to this number on the screen and I will get you into the VIP for two months completely free. Um, it'll take like five minutes to get you guys set up for this. All you have to do is put money into bet online and then take a $20 bet onto bet online. And what I will do is I'm going to pay you back that $20. So you might say, well, I'm enough to put money into the app. How does that mean it's gonna be free? Well, what I'm gonna do is once you put money into the app and send me a screenshot that you took the bet, I Venmo or cash up you back the $20. So I'm paying you back to do this. So again, you will get my VIP for free for two months doing this right here. Incredible, incredible stuff right here. Um, and uh, yeah, as you guys saw, I mean, the VIP is well worth it. On Saturday alone, we made like 40 units in that. Um, you know, I, I don't even know, but a lot of you guys, I showed this yesterday in all the comments, but a lot of you guys made 500, $400, $500. Uh, they, you, this guy doubled his bankroll overnight on Saturday alone, right? $500 this guy made. Like insane. Real people are doing this and real people have my VIP. All you have to do is tell my picks. They go straight straight to your phone. You're just clicking a link on your screen and it sends you to prize picks to tell my play. And you do that like eight, eight to 10 times a day and you make money. It's the easiest money ever. You can legitimately make side hustle income. Um, this is the past month of me doing it as well the past month, we're up 85 units. Um, normally on a month, we go up between 50 or 80 units. And again, this is the past 30 days. Incredible performance so far, you guys. And my VIP is normally $150 a month. And I just showed you guys, guys who are making $400 to $500 betting with $10 units and making that in just one day, okay? There is also a rest of 2024 discount that I'm giving out um, for just $200. So just $200, you'll get the rest of 2024 for just $200. Again, a lot of you guys made this, made double this in just one day, okay? So in one day we can do this and you guys will pay for the rest of 2024. Plus you'll have so much money going into the holiday season into next year as well. And then you can get more passes onto that. But again, the best way to get two free months is my VIP it, to my VIP is, is this bet online promo. Again, it'll take you like five, 10 minutes. It helps me out. It helps you guys out. And uh, yeah, we will stay consistently cashing. All right, let's get into the play for the day. Of, of course, it's going to be correlated. Um, if you guys don't know, I do correlation and that is my main strategy on how I make so much money and how I am so profitable. Um, prize picks really, uh, really is dropping the ball with, with, with how much they are giving out with, with, uh, the amount of correlation, uh, the amount that correlation pays for us on these entries right here. So I'm actually going back to this bowling green combo right here. We are taking the quarterback to go over and this tight end to go over. I talked about it in yesterday's video, um, why I like this duo here. Um, but I will just say this is very, very correlated. So the better that the bowling green quarterback does, the better that this bowling green tight end is going to do. So if this quarterback throws for 300 yards, then a lot of those yards are going to go to his number one receiver, this tight end right here, Harold Fannin. And it is exactly what I did a lot of times to like cash these entries right here. So like, for example, um, uh, well, I guess I guess uh, like Josh Hoover, Jack Betch was a good example of this, right? We take the overs here. Both these guys go over. And then on Saturday, I mean, there's so much to talk about here. But like we take the Duke uh, quarterback receiver over. This hits. We take Jackson Dark, Caden Lee to go over. This hits. We take the Florida quarterback and the Florida receiver to go under this time. This hits, right? They're very correlated together, right? You, get, you guys are smart people. You know that the better a quarterback does, the better his receiver is going to do. The worse a quarterback does, the worse his receiver is going to do. So very correlated. And I told you guys yesterday about Harold Fannin. He should be playing. He should be starting for an SEC team. He should be starting for an LSU, a Bama, a Texas, a Oklahoma, but he is not. He is playing on Bowling Green and he gets 150 to 170 yards most games with 10 to 12 receptions in those games. And he has the ability to break out 60, 70 yard uh, catches easily. So I think he should soar over this uh, in tonight's game. And I'm really excited to watch these guys play in tonight's game. Um, if you don't know, that is what I really like doing on these uh, on these weekday games is they will have one player maybe two players but a lot of times it's just one player that should be playing in an sec power five type team 
but instead they're playing for like a Bowling Green or a Louisiana or a Texas State or something like that. And they are just crushing these other players because the competition is not up to their standard. So really love this duo right here. And I hope that this cashes. And then down here, we do have Counter-Strike Correlation. Literally my bread and butter. Like I go back to Counter-Strike Correlation so much. I bet probably four or five, maybe six entries a day on Counter-Strike. Um, if I go back to this uh, big graph here where I have like, this is like, what is this? 1800 bets at this point. That's crazy. Over the past 150 days, we have definitely put down a lot of bets. 1800 bets. I would say maybe 800 of those bets or maybe even a thousand, thousand of those bets have counter-strike in some way shape or form inside of those entries just like this so counter-strike i'm i'm so locked in on counter-strike you guys um but we do have these two teams monty and spirit spirit academy and i do think this should be a closer match so if you guys don't know how counter-strike correlation works closer the match is, that means the longer the game goes on if it's a if it is not a close match if one team blows the other team out then um the, the game should go short and less kills will happen in that game but if a game goes short that means less kills if a game goes long that means more kills maybe it goes the distance maybe it goes into overtime and the more uh the longer a game goes on the more rounds that happen in that game the more rounds that happen the more kills that happen generally in that game as well so that's kind of what i was trying to show you guys um yesterday is this Navi and Amcol game went really short and you can see these are all three these are all four different players right we have this guy this guy this guy this guy they're all four different players but all of them went under their projections okay even though I took the Moors here these guys went under their projections all of them because it was a very short game so all of these guys go under the projections right so again what I'm looking for is these guys to either go green green together or red red together um, so yeah hopefully that makes sense we have correlation down here and then correlation up here all right and then there's also a better entry for um, there, there's a better discount for Joe Burrow. His line is normally around 270 um, to 2, 265. So we're getting him at 245. Not the best discount ever, but we're going to take it. Um, and then I think this guy's named Melvin Johnson Jr., but he's also playing for Bowling Green, but this line's too high. It should be like 40.5. And I will show you that on the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer, but I am taking him under t in tonight's game for receiving yards. Let me go ahead and hop into the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer and show you guys how I found this pick. All right, you guys. So here we are on the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer. I'm clicking refresh. His name's actually Mal Malcolm, not Melvin, but um, Malcolm J Johnson Jr. right here for tonight's game. And you can see it is actually the second best play on better right now. Um, I don't bet much on hockey. And also this is just barely a better play than this one. Um, and this is just easier to explain. So pretty much his line on better right now is 46.5. And on all of these other books, you can see DraftKings, BetMGM, Caesars, BetOnline, Bovada, ESPN Bet. They all have them at about 40 42 to, to 40. Okay. They all have him at 42 to 40. And, um, if we're able to get him at 46.5 and what is this? Seven other books, six other books have him at 40. Then that is a six yard discrepancy right there. And we are getting a ton of value on better by taking this person to go under right here. So I think this may bump. If it does bump, then you can take any of these other plays with NHL and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really good play right now on better. And it wouldn't be possible for me to find this if I didn't have this optimizer. So you can use code detective and get 25% off your first month with the DGF uh, fantasy optimizer. And uh, yeah, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you VIP guys are cashing with me. And uh, we also were close to cashing some free plays as well, but we did cash that one on uh on saturday so thank you guys again for watching let's have a great night tonight and i will see you in tomorrow's video